Hi, I'm Joey Sharp with Sea Ray Boats. Today I'm here on the SLXR 400E outboard. So you ask yourself, what's special about this boat? And my answer is, what's not special about it? You have a custom painted hull side with a painted hard top, custom accents in your upholstery, red stitching, and then these great motors here on the back, 450 racing motors with carbon fiber accents. You can see how the carbon fiber and the red all ties in with the boat. As we start to make our way into the boat, you'll notice that there's a lot of cool features. This boat is feature rich. So here at the transom, we have a transom shower that pulls out and goes into a pole mount. You have a nice grid here so that it can drain. And you also have hot and cold water. In addition to that, right above it, there's a 12 volt outlet. So you can plug in to inflate water toys. And then you have a really nice paddleboard storage area. Also on the transom of this boat, you'll see that you have custom Sea Deck that comes with the R package and the design package with the Sea Ray logo in the back. You have Premier Audio on this boat with a transom remote and a bow remote for zone control. Then you have more storage as you come into the boat. Look at all this. You can put fenders, bumpers, lines, water toys, whatever you want to in here for your day. You have your red accent lighting that's going to be only with the R, so the red trim, the red lighting. Then what's really nice here at the transom is the sun gate. Look how that swings over, allows you to face the water this way. And why is that important? So if we look here, we have a fold down swim terrace. This terrace drops down, allows kids to jump in and out of the water, allows people to board from the water. You also have a ladder at the back. As we make our way into the cockpit, we have a galley with a sink, single grill, and a storage tub. Now, this can be optioned a couple of different ways. You can do a solid piece of countertop here, you, or you can do the storage tub and a single grill, or you can do dual grills. Then as we shut those, you can see you got a nice working counter space. You got your controls for your grill, and you can see here that there's a mount. This is for your TV. So you can mount your cockpit TV here, and you can plug it in, and there's your coax cable for it. Looking down on the cockpit galley, you have two refrigerators, or you can do a single refrigerator, a storage cabinet, or a wine cooler in this area. Then the really nice thing about this is two trash cans to go with dual grills or dual refrigerators. Your battery switches are located here. So you can see you have your house battery and your engine batteries all right there together. You have your bypass switches. Then you have a nice storage area where your control for your electronics go and your amp. So you can put some small things in here and then you can see how you have access to all your componentries. Then we'll talk about how we can convert the cockpit in this boat. So we have a nice swivel chair that opens up the cockpit. People, instead of having to face forward, can actually sit and enjoy the conversation. You got a bolster seat and then you also have storage. Speaking of storage, if we walk down the port side of the boat, you can see how much hidden storage we have right here. Again, accent lining under everything, custom red stitching, quilted patterns. As we start to work our way a little bit further forward, then we get into the helm. This is your control station for the entire boat. Everything you want to do on the boat is right here. So we talked a little bit about the E in this boat. That's the Fathom E power management system. So what this is, this boat does not have a generator on it. It actually has four marinized lithium ion batteries that are all controlled from this display right here. So I can see what all these batteries are doing. Again, carbon fiber accents at the helm. You got twin dual 16 NSO Evo 3 Simrad displays with all your engine data, charts, radar, everything right there at the helm. In addition to that, with the R package, you get your dynamic running surface, your DRS. You have your joystick, which comes with the boat. You have a VHF, which is optional. And then you have a handheld that comes with that VHF, so you don't have a mic. So you got a handheld that sits right down here. You pick it up and you can walk around the boat and use your VHF. Spotlight here with your controls, so you can control your spotlight here from the helm. You also have the opening manual canvas. And then you have a sure shade that's off the back of the boat and it's a silent running type. As we move forward, we have the TV that I was telling you about earlier stowed here. So it's got its own dedicated storage when it's not in use. When you want to use it, you pull it up out of here, you drop it down in the countertop, hook it up and you're ready to go. As we make our way forward, we got a bow block off door. So on those cold windy days, you can block off the bow. As you make your way up front, 
you have a nice three passenger forward facing seating here plus you have a nice little u-shaped seating that also converts down into a sun pad you have your spotlight which we talked about back there you have your anchor locker so this is a through hole and then you also have your wash down for the anchor right here so you're ready to go when you pull the anchor up the in floor storage nice deep area where you can put the table away so when you're set up your bow filler cushions you have a nice sun pad up here and your table's down and out of the way so let's go downstairs and take a look at the cabin on this boat i think you're going to find it very spacious and accommodating so here we are down in the v berth of this boat so this is a table you have nice u-shaped seating this will convert down into a bed so you can sleep a couple of people here. You have a TV down here in your V-burst so you can watch TV or the kids want to get out of the sun and come sit in the air conditioning for a while, they can do that. You have your USB, fusion control, AC control all right here on the wall. As we start to roll a little bit back towards the mid cabin, you have a nice refrigerator down here. You also have a microwave downstairs. What we do have though is a full head. So as you can see, nice and spacious. It's a wet head, so all your shower curtain and shower tools are tied up over here. You have a nice little sink area, nice drawer storage. As you can see, we have a spacious mid cabin back here with plenty of storage for a nice night on the water. Thank you for joining us today on the SLXR 400E. As I mentioned, there will be other videos on this boat to talk specifically about the E and some other fantastic features of this boat. But we wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of what the SLXR 400E really is. Thank you and we we'll look forward to talking to you next time.